Hello Arcadia families, welcome to my regular Executive Principal weekly update. Great news, we're fully reopening on Monday. Uh, we did a trial through today with our FS2 year two year group, so the children were super excited to be back in school, which was really lovely to see. Um, and of course we've had our year nine and 11 working on their GCSEs, including uh, GCSE oral exams, actual oral exams yesterday. So it's great to be able to get those completed without any disruption to our exam-based children, which is great. During the last seven days, we have sadly evacuated 2.5 million cubic litres of water for both our basements. Um, this wasn't through the school infrastructure, this was accumulated community flood water. Um, but fortunately, being a member of such a large parent company, Al Shra, we managed to second a whole group of engineers to try and solve some of the problems by the disruption to the critical infrastructure. We've now done that. The biggest challenge was our chillers, uh, which are in both basements, but we've done a workaround for both sites. We've had chilled air and we're ready to go for Monday as normal. This means that we have normal school days, Monday to Friday, normal timetables, little disruption to anything, um, but please do refer to the letters from the divisional principals to tell you a little bit about the individual year groups. So once again, thank you so much to the teaching team for pivoting online within 24 hours. Uh, so we've had some online teaching now for many of the year groups for um, seven working days, but also our site cleaning team, um, our engineering team, our facility management have been working around the clock to make sure that the school was fully operational. We had a little damage to ground first and second floors. Most, most of the issues have been in the basement, which have now um, we have resolved uh, with some uh, next six months work around just to make sure that we've got them ready to go as normal. Uh, but of course, as ever, we put safety first, water, sanitation, cool air. We need to have all these things to make sure the children are going to be well served in their learning, but we are good to go. The only uh, changes would be a bus drop off and pick up for primary. Again, um, we are using some of the bus pickup drop-off space outside the back of the FS area for some critical plant to run our services. And so our primary school children will be dropped off and picked up and transported to and from their classrooms from the secondary building with their TAs and bus nannies. And EYFS will actually be picked up outside the front, the front, the main front door of primary. But again, shouldn't be really a great deal of disruption to services uh, as well. There will be one or two classroom timetable shifts for our secondary children, but other than that business as usual, we should be bringing on stream dance and drama studio within a couple of days. Um, our Astro service has been cleaned and sanitized today, so we'll be using two thirds of it while we make some repair to the damaged area on the left. Um, our pools are currently, the pumps are being restarted and the pools are cleaning, so they should be up and running within a few days. But again, do stay connected to the information messages through uh, the newsletter, through Seesaw, through Google Classroom and Osley from our divisional teams. Uh, thank you so much for, I've had so many well wishes, uh, feedback and emails from parents and families. So thank you so much, it's, it, it's been super buoying. Um, I didn't really know that during my Bachelor of Education and Principal Training, I would have to deal with an emergency disaster repair from a natural disaster, but we've done the best we can and we've been putting the children first to make sure we can get up and running as fast as possible. And of course, there've been some challenges, but again, um, mostly through to the infrastructure, which our team are managing. So thank you very much for everybody again for your support. I'm looking forward to seeing you back in and around the corridors. There may be some um, other further disruptions to things like sports competitions, fixtures, external schools, because a lot of other schools are in similar positions in terms of not having full operations for a period of time. Um, but we're looking forward to getting everybody back into the classrooms as normal. So have a wonderful weekend with your family. Stay safe, stay connected and see you all very soon.